All right, y'all, welcome to the show. I can proudly state I just ate almost an entire box of Samoas, and they are fucking delicious. God bless Girl Scout cookies. So a uh, lot of stuff to get to today. I'm going to lead in just a second. Trump having some sort of uh, psychological break or massive brain fart, like sent out a statement with all sorts of misspellings and made up words. And in fact, when I first saw it, I was like, that can't be real. Is that real? That's crazy. I mean, I know he misspells things from time to time, but it's usually like one word and it's every like four or five posts. Now this is like just just an amalgamation of uh, psychotic spew. So we'll talk about that. Uh, Biden's actually getting randomly very aggressive against Trump. I want to show you uh, one of the statements they released recently. The Babylon Bee, which is sort of like the right wing version of the onion, pissed off their own base. Wait until you see the reason why. Uh, as promised, you're going to get a segment on all of the things that have been blamed for the Baltimore Bridge collapse after the ship uh, hit it. Man, people, the brain worms are at catastrophic levels. They are just off the charts. And then uh, later on in the show, we'll talk about a big corruption scandal involving Newsmax, the right-wing news network, and uh, Javier Malay, the leader of... Argentina, man, he is absolutely destroying that country, and we have some devastating numbers for you. So you guys know the drill. Everybody, please subscribe to the channel. It helps out massively. Thank you to everybody who supports the show on Patreon or tips on YouTube. Those things are below if you'd like to hook a brother up. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. News came out, like, what, a month or two ago now, where Biden was basically like, yeah, we're going to take the gloves off. We see that, uh, you know, we're down in the polls, and we're going to start uh, going ham on Donald Trump and his campaign. And when I first saw that, it was like, okay, I like that. Uh, let's let's see how this is executed. And there were things that are, you know, sort of hit or miss. I mean, you guys know we talked about the whole Broke Don nickname. On the one hand, it's better than the when they go low, we go high shit, which, which I don't like. But on the other hand, are you ever going to out-Trump Trump himself? I don't know. And also, the resistance liberals were sort of cooking when they came up with their nickname, which was Don Porleone. I mean, I just think they nailed that. So I was like, so-so on that. But now we get this. So uh, the Biden campaign released a statement on one of Trump's press conferences. This was on March 25th. Look at this. Statement on Trump's press conference. Biden-Harris 2024 spokesperson James Singer released the following statement on Trump's press conference this afternoon. Quote, Donald Trump is weak and desperate, both as a man and a candidate for president. He spent the weekend golfing, the morning comparing himself to Jesus, more on that later, and the afternoon lying about having money he definitely doesn't have. His campaign can't raise money. He is uninterested in campaigning outside his country club, and every time he opens his mouth, he pushes moderate and suburban voters away with his dangerous agenda. America deserves better than a feeble, confused, and tired Donald Trump. Damn. Now, who was this guy's name again? James Singer? Give homie a raise. Because understand, as soon as they announced that we're going to go more aggressive against Trump's strategy, that went hand in hand with a pretty significant polling bump for Biden. I mean, he had a slate of three, four polls where he was leading, some of them leading by as much as like five on Trump. We haven't seen that in a long, long, long time. Partly that could have been because of the State of the Union speech. He could have gotten a bump from that. That's possible. Um, it's also possible that there was a lag in those traditional economic indicators, um, you know, being positive, helping him like they were they've been good for a couple quarters, but it might take a couple quarters for that to set in for people to say, OK, it's a little better than I thought. Right. But certainly this aggressive strategy is is uh, is better than the opposite, which was saying absolutely nothing and hiding in the basement now. So this is what the Biden campaign is doing. Look at what Trump is doing. This uh, is from March 26th. I'm not running to terminate the ACA. Okay, I just need to point out. The reason Trump is saying this is because Biden gave a speech on health care where he's like, hey, we made the Affordable Care Act stronger than ever. We did multi-billion dollar subsidies. 45 million people signed up. This is a victory. This is great. So he gave a speech saying that. And of course, he was hitting Trump saying this guy wants to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. So Trump chimes in. I'm not running to terminate the ACA as Crooked Joe Budden... <laughs> Crooked Joe Button. <laughs> I 
real hip hop heads know, Joe Budden, a uh, hip hop artist, also has like a pretty big podcast now. To be fair, his name is spelled with two D's, not one. But he said, Crooked Joe Budden. <laughs> he says, As Crooked Joe Budden disinformates and misinformates all the time. Disinformates and misinformates, those are not words. Those are not words. This is like a fucking Trump AI wrote a comment. <clears throat> Somebody said, oh, he's bringing up the very famous Greek philosophers. Disinformates and misinformates. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? This man is almost 80 years old. <laughs> he didn't do one quick little proofread of his shit. Never mind, like, check. Hey, maybe I should look up if disinformates and misinformates is a word. I'm not ready to terminate the ACA. He has a funny way of showing it. He literally tried to repeal it the last time. As Crooked Joe Budden disinformates and misinformates all the time. I'm running to close the border, stop inflation, make our economy great, strengthen our military, and make the ACA, or Obamacare as it is known, much better, stronger, and far less expensive. This is insane. Trump was president for four years. They did propose a health care bill. The health care bill had like a sub 30% approval rating. And as he was going around saying it protects pre-existing conditions, it the bill did not protect pre-existing conditions. He tried. Remember, he tried to repeal it, and it was John McCain who did the famous moment where he like put his thumb down and say he's voting against it, and Obamacare stood. Now he's like, I was never in favor. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to terminate the Affordable Care Act. That was like part of your campaign in 2016. One of the main things you tried to do when you were in office. What the fuck are you talking about? It's just because Biden was like, hey, he's against that. He's like, no, I'm not. I actually want to make it better. This is what he does. He did this with Obama, too. Obama does the Iran nuclear agreement. It works. The IAEA says Iran is following it perfectly. They verified over a dozen times. Trump gets in there. He's like, I'm against that. I'm against that because he's for that. So I'm against that. And he rips up the deal. Now, at the same time he's doing that, he's trying to get an Iran nuclear style deal with North Korea. So he's clearly not against it in principle. He's just doing the whole, like, whatever, I'm, a, I'm the opposite. Whatever they say, I'm going to say the opposite. God, he's such a child, man. Holy shit. He continues. In other words, make the ACA much, much, much better for far less money or cost to our great, to our grest American citizens who have been decimated by Biden, his record inflation, bad economy, Afghanistan catastrophe, and just about everything else. Crooked Joe Biden is by far the worst president in the history of the United States. MAGA 2024. Oh my God. What the fuck was this? Here's my theory. He just got a fresh, uh, fresh batch of whatever upper he's on at the moment, whether it's that UK version of Sudafed or it's Adderall or whatever. He just got a fresh batch of that shit. He popped two pills and homie was fucking gacked out of his mind. He was zooted. Just straight up firing off tweets, probably talking like crazy to people, whoever was around him at the time. And he just started pressing a bunch of buttons, hit send, didn't even realize that he just embarrassed himself by not only misspelling a, a bunch of words, but making up words, disinformates and misinformates. Like, look, I, I'm, I'm genuinely of the opinion that oftentimes... When you see the MSNBC types try to nitpick a Trump tweet and they're going in on the spelling or this or that, yeah, it can come across as kind of cringe. It can come across as kind of disconnected. Because the fact of the matter is, what was that study? It said Trump talks at like a seventh grade level. And it turns out that was actually a massive benefit for his campaign because he talks in a way where everybody sort of is like, oh, okay, I know what he's saying. Turns out that was politically, it sort of worked, right? So I understand the excess nitpicking can come across as very hall monitory and annoying. I get that. I actually agree with that. But when you fuck some shit up this bad, Joe Budden disinformates, misinformates, our grest American citizens. Now you can't help but put me in a position where I got to speculate about your fucking mental state. Because this is like on par with some of Joe Biden's massive brain farts and dementia moments on stage. Right? That's what this is. So anyway, there's your update. This is how our campaign is going. Um, still the fucking, after all these years, still the same. If anything, you just lost a couple steps. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now.
you know you want to.